Let's begin with Greg Palcott. He's in northern Israel. Now that's near the border with Lebanon. Good morning, Greg. Hey, Danny. Yeah, yeah, the border is just about a mile away. So far, it had been a quiet day, but just in the last 20 minutes, we saw and heard what we believed to be was a Hezbollah missile coming over that mountain behind us. And then we heard overhead the blast of a Iron Dome defense, Israeli defense missile, a, a, a really sign that things are remaining very active on this front. We've seen an escalation between Israel and Hezbollah all in the past week that we have been here. Israeli Defense Force claims it struck eight Hezbollah terror cells overnight, 20 terror units in the last two weeks. The latest updated toll, uh, 20 Hezbollah fighters said to have been killed, seven Israeli soldiers and, and their civilians as well. We're also learning that Israeli firepower is heading deeper into Lebanon, striking, for example, the Lebanese coastal city of Tyre and other major cities as the broader terror network of the Hezbollah fighters is getting some new attention. All this leading to casualties and evacuations on both sides of the border. Residents in 43 towns and villages here in Israel have been told to leave in the last couple of days. That means as many as 100 to up to 200,000 civilians have had to flee. This as Hezbollah ties up tens of thousands of Israeli troops here. The big question right now, what happens when a promised land incursion starts by Israel into Gaza against Hezbollah's ally Hamas? Iran and the militants from past several days have been threatening to go big here. Analysts are not 100% sure that is a done deal. Dana, it's that lack of clarity of the militants' overall intentions on this side of the country that is complicating Jerusalem's tangled war strategy even further. Back to you. Indeed. All right, Greg Palcott, thank you.